Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Hi, Nevi. Hi, Emilia. Hi. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone, guys. How are you tonight? <laughs> Good night, me. Hey, how are you? Good evening. How are you? Good night. It's nice. It's really nice to see you one more time after a long week. One <laughs> week vacation. <laughs> <laughs> it was one week vacation. Vacation day. Three, uh -huh. no, four, three days. It went day. from, yeah, almost right. Because <laughs> Monday and Tuesday, we had class right yeah then we had the vacation like on wednesday thursday friday saturday five days and also yes basically five days right <laughs> that's good as remember that we have the classes now it's just four four days hello hello blanca welcome <laughs> nice Thank to you. see you again it's good Ahí va. really nice tal? Welcome, Rosa. very good what about you <laughs> Welcome, welcome, Emilia, welcome, Aaron, Rebecca, Blanca, we have Kevin, Kevin Rodriguez, welcome, we have Alba, Sandra Guadalupe, Alba Marisol, we have, yes, Glenda Guadalupe, we have Rafael Aguilar, oh. welcome, guys, it's good to see you, one more session, <laughs> ready to go on, right, yes, <laughs> congratulations, now you are in model Two. Two. Model two. Yes. That's really good. Okay. Now remember that it's only four days, right? So Fridays, no class. Yes. No class on Fridays. It's only Monday. So the lunes a jueves. Day. Exactly. It's only four days. Why? But it's always the same quantity. Solo el primer mes era como por la vacación que se saltaron así, pero siempre fueron 16 clases. Siempre fueron 16. Really? Pero va a ser a jueves, a jueves. Ahora va a ser de lunes a jueves y siempre pues va a cubrir el, la, las cuatro semanas. Pero siempre son 16 sesiones. Ahora no uh -huh. So, in the model two, we're going to have always five sections. Always, it's the same form. In the week one, we have session one and two. A veces nos pasamos a la segunda, ¿verdad? Dependiendo, porque a veces los temas son un poquito más largos y es necesario eh, pasarnos a la siguiente semana. Entonces, week two, esto está planeado ser sección tres y el midterm. Pero es posible que todavía se haga la sección dos y tres y el midterm. Luego vamos a la semana tres y trabajamos en la sección cuatro. Then week four, semana cuatro, sección cinco y examen final. So it's the same division, right? It's siempre el mismo cronograma que tenemos. Let's continue then. Section one, week one, is about my sister works downtown. What is downtown? Have you heard what is downtown? Downtown is the center of the city. For example, here in San Salvador, eh, all that area of Centro Histórico, all that area is downtown. El centro de la ciudad. As we say, el downtown. centro. Downtown. Yes, downtown. That is downtown. Downtown. Yes. Centro de la ciudad. El centro de la ciudad. Correct. Okay. And now, what is our objective? Buenas noches, mi. Hey, Pero, good evening, Nelly. Estoy hablando con el audio. Hey, no escucho a ninguno. ¿Eh? But now, no problem. Pero ahí sí ya. Yes. Buenas noches. That's good. Welcome. <laughs> good evening, Nelly. Welcome to your class. Thank you, miss. Thank you. Okay, let's check our objective. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about transportation. And then it says that additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates this topic. So we'll remember here about transportation vocabulary. And we have those examples. We have a car, a bicycle, a moped. We have a subway, 
and a motorcycle. And also remember, a bus, we also have a train and a taxi. We know that there are some of the transportations that are similar than here in El Salvador, but others we don't have here in El Salvador. It exists maybe in another country. Now let's check here. Also vocabulary of destinations. Go to work, go home, go to school. What are other places that we can mention? Go to, go to the restaurant, what else? Mention other places. Go to the beach. Excellent, go to the beach, what else? Go to the small. Go to the moon, very good, like Multiplaza. Uh, go to the gym. Metro, hello, welcome. Uh -huh. Go to the gym. Go, right, to the gym. go to the gym, excellent. What else? Go to go cinema. To the park. Go to the cinema, go to the park, very good. What else? Go to the bank. Go to the bank. Go to the? Supermarket. Go to the supermarket, very good. That's nice, oh. what different? Uh, puede ser go to the, go to uh, escuela, como se school. Go to school. Uh -huh. go, go to, to school. school. Very go to good. discotheque. Go to the discotheque. Woo, yes, right? Different places. That's good. Go to the disco. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go to the disco. <laughs> go to the strip. I'll go to the streets. Very good. <laughs> Different destinations, right? That we can use. And also, we can have different actions, like to express the manner how we can get or how we can arrive. Diferentes medios de cómo llegar. For example, I walk, drive. Caminando. Ajá, uh -huh, walk. Ajá, uh -huh, you can walk. Like, for example, if you say, uh -huh. I walk, I walk, walk to walk. work. I walk. Uh -huh. I walk to the university. I walk, I walk to the restaurant. What about drive? You have a car, then you drive. I drive to work. I drive to the supermarket. I drive to the airport. Take a taxi. Take a taxi. I take a taxi to the park. I take a taxi to work. I take a taxi to the beach. Different places. Take the train. Well, we don't have the train here in El Salvador. Not anymore, but in the past, we used to have it. Right? Now, take the bus. Take the bus is very necessary. We don't have a car. We need to take the bus. So as we know, there are different roads, hasta diferentes rutas, right? Especially in San Salvador, there are many roads to take the bus. So we have this action. Any question? Any question with this? With vocabulary, with actions? Train is train, verdad? Yes. The train. Este, una pregunta. Veo que los primeros, digamos, walk, o cómo se pronuncia, cómo walk. se pronuncia caminar, walk. walk. Este, y drive. Yes. Ajá, porque no lleva, este, no sé cómo se pronuncia, take a taxi, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Oh. What happened is that here you say, take a taxi. Take a taxi. Oh, Porque no, right? se, no, no lo lleva lo otro. Lo take. Otro dos. Porque esta es, este es una palabra compuesta. Es tomo, tomo qué? Tomo el taxi. Ah. Y acá ah. tomo el tren. Y acá tomo ah. el bus. Pero en el caso ah. de drive, no necesitamos utilizarlo no lo o tomar, Ajá. sino que usted lo conduce. Lo maneja. Usted lo maneja, usted lo conduce. Okay. En el caso de walk, pues yo camino. Caminar. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We have a video. Thank Any you. other question? My pleasure. Any other question? Somebody else has a question? No, Miss. No? Okay. We have a video about this, about transportation vocabulary and conversation. So let's check it here. And we have that the name of it is nice car. 
Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn No problem? No? No problem. No problem. Okay. Perfect. related to transportation. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by learning and repeating. Transportation in the US. The top 8 ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 1. Drive. 2. Walk. 3. Take the bus. 4. Take the subway. 5. Take the train. 6. Ride a bike. 7. Ride a motorcycle. 8. Take a taxi. Take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following question. How do you get to work? And a possible answer may be, I drive to work. Or I take the bus to work. The idea here is to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions. And also I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. All right, we watched the video, very short video. This one was to investigate how do you get to work. Get, it means llegar. De hecho, el verbo get tiene muchas combinaciones. Pero si lo utilizamos con get to y un lugar, nos referimos a cómo llegamos a ese lugar. Entonces, how do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? ¿Cómo te vas al trabajo? Right? So that's the question. For example, I drive to work. Conduzco para el trabajo. Or I take the bus to work. Now, it says, a question. What are some other kinds of transportation? Can you mention other, other classes of transportation? Because here we have the car, right? We can walk, take the bus, take the subway, a taxi, ride a motorcycle, ride a bike. Take the train, but what are others that you know? The airplane. Ah, the airplane. That is true. In we the, have the airplane. In the cast of the president. In the Sorry? in the cast of the president, in the helicopter. That's true. That's a private helicopter, right? A, a presidential helicopter. Very good, Kevin. Thank you. What else? Any other transportation? What about scooters? Scooter. <laughs> Basically, these ones are to play, right? For the kids that they play with the scooters. Yes, what else? Any other ones? In the actuality, we have more types of taxi, right? Not only the yellow taxi. What are others that are very popular now? 
Uber. Uber is another one. That's a private taxi. What else? Both. Uh, by boat, okay. That's another transportation on the water. Yeah, the ferry. That you take a lot of things, right? So for transportation, the ferry. All right. Now let's check here. Other questions. How do you get to the university? In what manner? For example, I walk to the university. How do you go to the university? Tell me who goes to the university. ¿Quién va a la universidad? Who goes to the university? I. You, Kevin? Okay, tell me. How do you get to the university? Uh... I take the bus. I take the bus. Bus, okay. I take the bus. bus. Very good. That's nice. Sandra, what about you? How do you get to work? Well, Sandra, miss. Yes, I'm sorry. I know we have a lot of Sandras. Even me, my name is Sandra. We have a lot of <laughs> Sandra Alfaro. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Alfaro, um, how do you get to work? I take the bus. I take the bus uh -huh. to work. To work. Very good. Okay, Blanca, how do you get to the park? Este, el parque, ¿verdad? Yes, correct. Uh, I, I, pues here, I uh, walk. Okay, I walk. I walk. I walk to the park. To the park. To oh, the okay. park. Uh -huh, that's good. Another question. How do you get to the supermarket? Rebecca, Rebecca Flores. I take a bus to the supermarket. Very good. I take the bus to the supermarket. That's all right. Good one. Let's see. Let's continue. Sandra Margarita. How do you get to the restaurant? I drive to the restaurant. I drive to the restaurant. Very good. Okay. Now let's see. Nevi. How do you get to the gym? Yes, gym is Eh, the gymnasium. El, ah, el, el, el gimnasio. No voy, miss. You don't go? What places do you visit? Uh, downtown? Eh. Do you visit downtown? El centro histórico? Do you visit centro histórico? No. Um, no? Me queda más cerca un estadio. Ah, okay. Go ahead. How do you get Bye. to the stadium? I walk. I walk. I walk to the stadium. To the stadium. I walk to the stadium. Very good. Stadium. Nice stadium. That's all right. Good. Now look at here. This is another form to investigate the same question. How do you go to the park? ¿Qué viene siendo igual que get? How do you get to the park? How do you go to the park? I ride a bike. How do you go to church? That's another possibility. Me Oh, yes. Una pregunta. O sea que cuando es get es como digamos en qué nos vamos y cuánto es go. ¿Cómo llega? Ajá. Ajá. ¿Cómo qué medio utiliza para llegar? ¿O cómo se va? Ese es get. Get. Igual go. How go. do you go? Uh, ¿Qué, me, ¿Qué medio utilizo? Uh, ¿Cómo okay. me voy? Pero, Pero de las dos para llegar. ¿Cuál? Las dos formas son válidas. Okay. O Solo sea, que es más común utilizar get. Ah, es más común, pero ambas son correctas. Okay. How do you go to the park or how do you get to the park? The two forms are correct. Okay, okay. All right. Judy, Edith, hey, <laughs> welcome. Yeah. Tell us, how do you go to the park? Yes. How do you I go to the park? I scooter to the park. Ah, okay. So I I ride a scooter. 
I ride a scooter. I ride a scooter to a the park. A scooter to the park. Porque se monta. A scooter se monta, right? Okay, sí. that's good. Nice one. Fernando, what about you? How do you go to church? I walk. Walk. I walk. Okay. I that would walk. Be the... Ah, that's right. Good one. Aaron, how do you go to the restaurant? I walk. I walk. I walk. All right. That's good. Kenya Funes, tell us, how do you go to school? Suppose that you go to school. How do you go to school? Dice Kenia que va a estar de oyente porque no está en la oh, casa. Ah, oh, okay, yes, I saw this one. Okay, thank you, thank you. Then let's see. Well, let's Teacher. Continue. Yes, tell me. No le, no, le, no le entendí cómo fue la pregunta porque yo le contesté, pero no sé si me equivoqué. No, Tenía but you una... say, I walk. You say, uh, the question was, how do you go to the restaurant? And you answer, I walk, right? This one. Estaba, estaba correcta así, como lo yes. había mencionado. That's correct. Right? You can say, I walk, eh, I take a taxi, um, I ride a motorcycle. That's correct. Okay. Not a problem with that one. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. We have a conversation to practice here. Let's see. It says, nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. That's a new job. And she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Okay, we have this one. That's according to transportation. Now tell me, do you have new vocabulary? Downtown. Downtown. Downtown means the center of the city. Suburbs. Suburbs. Suburbs, los suburbios, las colonias. Suburbs. 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 So downtown is like centro histórico in all that area. Es el centro de la ciudad. Todo pueblo tiene su centro, right? Santa Ana has a center. Mean, so, yes. ¿qué significa? So, so, it can mean, entonces, así que, pues, es un conector. It's a connector. Y cuando dicen so, so, so. So, so, that's a different meaning. It means más o menos, regular. It's, for example, they ask you, how do you feel today? ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel today? So, so. I feel so, so. Regular. Not very good. Mm -hmm. Not so bad. Mm -hmm. En el caso cuando se, dice, cuando se dice so, so, teacher, que se dice eh, más o menos. So, so. So, so. So, so. It, or, you can also substitute. También se puede sustituir, say, more or less. Pero eso ya es como con un cuantificador. Oh, nice. More or less. Más o menos. Pero es más común utilizar el so, so. How do you feel today? So, so. Yo he escuchado más común el so, so. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's more common, that expression. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Now, we're going to practice it. Let's start it. Emilia, start please. You're Ashley. Nice car. Nice car. Jason, it is yours. Is it yours? Yours. Aha, uh -huh. thank you. Blanca, continue please. No. No, no. It's my sister. My sister's. Is is my sister? She's she, she has, has a she has a new, new. An, a new job. A new job. Uh -huh. And she tried to work. Thank you. Good. Sandra Alfaro. Is her job here in the suburbs? 
That's right. Thank you. Maybe? No, it's, it's, an, it's downtown. It's, it's, it's downtown. It's, that's all right. That's correct. Good one. Aaron, continue. My parents? My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use pu public, public transportation. Public transportation. Public transportation. That's correct. Good one. Kevin, continue. The, the bus? The bus or the train. Thank you. Rebecca Flores. The train doesn't stop near our house. Uh -huh. So they take a bus. It's really slow. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue. Judy. That. Too bad. That's too bad. Very good. Okay, That's now. too bad. Thank you. That's good. Fernando, again. Nice car, Jason. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? Very good. Thank you. Melba, Patricia. Melba, are you present? No, Sandra Margarita. Sandra? No, yes. Okay. No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue. Juan Alberto, please. Juan Alberto, are you present? Glenda Guadalupe? That's a miss. All right. Juan Alberto, can you read it, please? Present, Miss. Okay, let's repeat it, please. Is her job? Is her job? Uh -huh. here, here, in the... here, here, here in the suburbs? Here in the suburbs. Right, thank you. Glenda, are you present? No, it's downtown. It's downtown. Thank you. Elmer and Nilsson. My parents. My parents work uh, downtown Bouquet. But. 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 But they don't. Don't. Drive, don't. Uh, drive to work. They use public transportation. 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 Very good. Thank you. Melba Patricia, continue, please. The bus or the train? The bus or the train. Thank you. Nevi, continue. The train does not stop near our house on the take. So they take. So they take, they take, take the take. bus. They take they the bus. Take the bus. It's really slow. Slow. That's good. Rebecca, Vanessa. That's? That's too bad. That's too bad. That's right. Okay. So we have this too conversation. Bad. That's too bad. Good one. Okay. We're going to pass some minutes to take the list. Just let me know if you are present. All right, let's start. Aaron. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Alba Marisol. Present. Thank you. Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you. Elmer Edenilson. Elmer Edenilson. Evelyn Yesenia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Elmer, present, right? Sí, present. Thank you. Evelyn Yesenia. Evelyn Yesenia. Fernando de Jesús. Eh, miss. Hello. Present. Eh, de, el, so, eh, a mí me puso que, que sí, ¿verdad? Estoy Elmer. Presente. El, Elmer, yes, sí. yes, you're present. Okay. Thank you. 
Fernando de Jesús, present, right? Yes, you told me. Present. That. Yes, thank you. Glenda Guadalupe. Present. Glenda. Thank you. Juan Alberto. Juan Juan Al thank you. Kenia Vanessa. <clears throat> Kenia Vanessa. Está bien. Oh, yeah, Present he's listening. Me. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Kevin Adrián. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Maria Emilia. Present, Miss. Thank you. Melba Patricia. Present. Thank you. Nevi Solina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. I hear Miss. Thank you so much. Rafael Antonio. Rafael Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rebeca Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Sandra Guadalupe. Sandra Guadalupe. Present. Yes, thank you. Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Jacqueline Mario, Marioris, right? Yes, Jacqueline Marioris. Jacqueline, are you present? No? Judy Edits. Present. Yes. We have you. Thank you so much. Alguien que no haya mencionado? In la teacher Ada. Ah, uh, Ada <laughs> is in, in in the first group, eight to nine. Está de ocho a nueve. Se equivocó de grupo, Miss. <laughs> Puso otro. Igual a mí dicen que quién regresará. So, so they are. <laughs> They are. Les di, yo ya les dije grupo. que esa fue la traición, eso fue un golpe bajo. <risa> nos traicionaron. Dijeron que nos querían y nos vendieron como. <risa> Betrayers, nos traicionaron. La veremos en el desierto, miel. Para Isidem, ahí la veo yo en el grupo. <risa> ya perdieron las donas de septiembre. Yeah. All right, but maybe they come back. Tal vez regresan en el otro módulo, ¿verdad? Así me dijo Abby. No, me yeah, dijo el otro, el probably. otro, el otro módulo. Regreso, me. Yes, probably. So we are going to, to wait. El horario. Ajá, it was a confusion there. All right, let's continue here then. Okay, we were in the conversation here. Now we have another practice. Let's use this example. It says, how do you go to school? By subway. What about you? ¿Qué hay de ti? Or, ¿y tú? That's the question here. What about you? Me? I walk. Now let's have another question. Sandra Guadalupe. How do you go to the beach? How do you go to the beach? In, uh, I drive. Uh -huh. I in ride. Uh-huh. I ride. Oh, I drive a car. Mm -hmm. I, I drive, drive a, a car. car. Very good. That's nice. Okay. Rebecca Flores. How do you go to work? I take a bus. I take a bus. Excellent. Judy, how do you go to work? I drive a car. Drive a car. All right. Good one. Okay. Let's observe that here in the conversations you have different actions. You don't conjugate the verb to be. Remember that in module one, we had the conjugation of the verb to be in the simple present. But now we have other verbs to put in action. So in this case, exist two types of verbs. We have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. In the regular verbs, they are the ones that when you transform into the past, they change, right? But we are going to put ed in the past. But these ones are the base form of the verb. Some examples, algunos son de regulares y otros de irregulares. For example, the base form, walk, visit, live, work. Now, in the irregular verbs, they change or you modify when you transform into the past. In the verb, go. This is a list of examples of irregular form. Go, run, take, 
and write. What is go? Ir. Vamos. Ir. Ir. Vamos. ir. Su forma base es ir. Ajá. Cuando invitamos a alguien a ir a un lugar, entonces estaría, hey, let's go. Right? Oh. Pero ya lleva otra frase. Like, let's go. Pero su forma original es ir. Run. What is run? Correr. 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 Take. Tomar. 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 De agarrar algo. Right? Montar. Right. And write. Ajá. Montar. What is it possible to write? A motorcycle? What else? Manejar. De montar. Take. What is it possible? A horse. A horse? horse. Uh -huh. A scooter? Yes. A mm. motorcycle? Bike. A bike. A bike. A bike. Uh -huh. What else? You mentioned a horse, right? A ride a horse. A horse? A horse? Podría ser para tomar un vuelo en caso de que fuera un viaje largo. Ah, in this case it's take. Porque take. uno toma un tomar. vuelo. It's take a flight. Take a flight, tomar un vuelo. Or simply you say fly, volar. I fly to the United States. I don't fly to the United States. So they are actions, right, that we use. Don't use the verb to be here because you don't need it. Aquí no hay combinación con el verb to be, con estos verbos, porque es simple present, pero con otros verbos. So no verb to be here. Let's have the structure. In simple present tense, it says that a present simple tense is a verb form of a sentence that tells about the action, circumstance, which happens regularly. So they are like um, habits, uh, regular activities. It can be routines also, it can be routines or occurrences. In the affirmative form, you have a subject plus verb, the verb contains S or ES, that's depending on the action, plus object. The object is the complement. For example, Romy loves to eat hamburgers. What is the subject? What is the subject in the example? Rom Romy, right? Romy, excellent. What is the verb? Loves. 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 Excellent. Loves. The rest is a complement or object. Good. Three words. Aha, to eat burgers is the complement. To eat burgers. We have the negative. It says subject plus do or does. Do or does is my auxiliary. This auxiliary is very necessary to represent the simple present. But this is only to use in the negative and the question. Because if you observe in the affirmative, we do not need it. No se necesita en afirmativa. Solo esa negativa y pregunta. So we have do or does plus negative form. That's not. Plus a verb. The verb you need it in the base form or in the original form. Plus the object. Object or complement. For example, Romy does not love to eat hamburgers. What is the subject? Romy. Romy, excellent. What is the auxiliary? Does. That. Does. Excellent. Does because we have a third person. Yes? You use auxiliary depending on the subject. But Romy is a she, right? Now we have the negative, not. After that, what do we have? After the negative, what is necessary? The verb, right? Now you use the verb. But in the base form, el verbo va a ir en forma base porque utilizo auxiliar, entonces no necesito el verbo con una forma S. The rest is only complement. Now we have the question form. Yes. yes. Y en ese caso, ¿por qué it sería complemento? Porque toma como verbo principal o. Exactly. This is my uh, principal action. The rest. Este de acá se le llama un infinitivo cuando lleva to y forma base del verbo, que puede ir verbo junto a infinitivo. otro verbo. Ajá, un verbo infinitivo utilizando to generalmente va a ir después de un verbo. Cuando va acompañado de otro verbo, entonces este tiene que ir en infinitivo o en un gerundio, pero depende del verbo. Pero acá. Si lleva, si lleva to it, 
ese va en infinitivo. Está en infinitivo. Aquí Comer. puede cambiar. Ajá, correcto. Podría ser también. Romy no está conjugado. Ajá, correcto. Sea, Romy uh -huh. does not love to drive, for example. No le encanta o no ama conducir. Aquí mi verbo puede cambiar. To eat, to run, to dance, to visit, to travel. O sea que ahí podemos tener prácticamente dos verbos, teacher. Ajá, solo que el segundo viene siendo como más una actividad, no una acción. Mi verbo principal acá va a ser el primero. El que conjuga el acá este es love. Ajá, correcto. Puede ser like también. No, does not like to eat hamburgers. Dos verbos juntos nunca pueden ir como en forma base, como eh, Romy does not love it. I do not like dance. El segundo tiene que cambiar su estructura. Mm -hmm. In the case of the question, you have auxiliary, depending on the subject. Do or does, plus a subject, plus the verb in the base form, plus object. Object or the complement. Plus Question mark because it's a question. For example, does Romy love to eat burgers? What is the auxiliary? Does. 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 Perfect. Why does? Because Romy is a she. It's third person singular. <clears throat> the verb is love. Love. To eat burgers is the complement. Oh, and you me. need the question mark here. Now, this is only the structure. Let's el check. Verbo, el verbo loves, love, eh, ¿cómo lo podemos tomar en esa oración, teacher? Eh, algo que le encanta hacer. Mm. A Romy le encanta, no siempre se va a traducir como amar, sino también que nos encanta hacer algo. Todo I va a depender de music. Eh, it depends on the context. For example, if they ask you, do you love music? ¿Te encanta la música? Oh, yes, I love music. I love music very much. Okay. M mi, una pregunta. Yes. Este, yes. Cuando es una persona, vamos a usar dos o para hacer la pregunta. O ¿Cómo vamos a diferenciar usar dos y dozen? Y ese, mm. dos, dos. Because it depends on the subject. Depends of the subject here. For example, plural here. Plural, ¿verdad, exactly. It's like here. Look. But some of them. Hay algunos que van, no va a depender solo singular o plural, sino de qué persona es primera, segunda, tercera. For example, here. Look, it says simple present statements. We have affirmative and we have negatives. For example, <coughs> I walk to school. My subject here is I. But the verb is based form. You ride your bike to school, base form of the verb. He works near here. Look at that here. We have a third person. It's like here. He, she, it is third person singular. The verb modifies to the S form of the verb. Now, if you have the subjects, I, you, we, they or a plural subject, then the uh, form of the verb is base form. So it depends on the subject that you have. Depende del sujeto. Si estoy trabajando con sujeto, I, you, we, they, mi forma del verbo va a ser forma base. It's don't modify. But if you're referring to he, she, it, third person form, mi verbo va a cambiar a forma S, drives a car. Now, another third person form here is he works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. Now, see here, we is like here, base form of the verb. They use public transportation. They is plural, base form of the verb. This is affirmative. Right now, in the negative, it's necessary to use the auxiliary of simple present, depending on the subject. If in the case that you have I, you, we, they, my auxiliary is do or don't in the negative. But if you have a third person singular, you have he, she, it, or singular subject, then my auxiliary is doesn't in the negative. I don't live far from here. 
You don't live near here. He doesn't work downtown. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. So all it depends on the subject that you have. Question with this? We're going to watch a video. Questions? No questions? No, Miss. Let's watch the video. Veamos el video. Tenemos más ejemplos acá. We have more examples. <clears throat> Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative statements. Let me start by explaining how we can form positive statements. In order to form positive statements in the simple present, you need to follow this formula. Subject plus verb plus complement. For example, I walk to school. I is the subject. Walk is the verb. And uh, to school is the complement. Let's take a look at uh, our next example. You ride your bike to school. You is the subject. Ride is the verb. Your bike to school is the complement. There is a particular rule that I would like to explain as well, and that has to do with the third person. First of all, whenever we refer to the third person, we're talking about he, she, and it. So the rule is, in the simple present, whenever we make statements with the third person, we will add an S to that verb. Let's take a look at that particular rule. He works near here. Instead of work, we say works. And once again, this is because we are talking about he. And by the way, that could be the name of a person as well. For example, John works near here. She takes the bus to work. Notice the S after the verb. Now, I would like to show you how we can form negative statements in the simple present. In order to understand this topic, I would like to show you the auxiliary verbs which we will use. Do and does. We're going to use do not for the pronouns I, you, we, and they. We're going to use this not for the pronouns he, she, and it. And the contraction for those pronouns are don't and doesn't. Now, let me write the formula. We're going to have a subject. 
plus don't or doesn't plus the verb plus some kind of complement. So if we take a look at one of our examples, I don't live far from here. I is the subject. Don't is the auxiliary verb. Live is the verb. And then the complement is far from here. Let's take a look at one more example. She doesn't drive to work. She is the subject. Doesn't mm -hmm. is the auxiliary mm -hmm. verb. This is the third person that I was talking about earlier. Drive is the verb. In this case, I would like for you to notice that we don't add an S. And the reason is because we have an auxiliary verb. So every time there is an auxiliary verb, we will omit the rule of adding an S. To work is the complement. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe your transportation habits and also talk about the transportation habits of friends and relatives. The idea is to make positive and negative statements about yourself and others. For example, I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. She has a new car. After you finish this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, you could observe some other examples, right? On the video. Now, let's verify. In the affirmative form, as we have subject, verb, and complement. But we say that depending on the subject that we have. For example, here, I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. John works near here. But now look at that here, it's different. Because you have a third person. If you want to substitute John, what subject do you use? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Which he. one? He, he. excellent. He. So it's a third person he. singular. That's correct. So we need to include the S to the verb. Esa okay? es la pregunta que tengo, Miss. Yes, tell me. En el video aparece she don't uh, drive to work. ¿Por qué mm. no llevaba S? Mm, interesting. Because you have auxiliary. In the case of um, the negative, you have doesn't. No es necesario colocarle la S si no, lleva el auxiliar en not, negativo. It's not correct. It's no not es correct. correct. Uh -huh. Because you have auxiliary. Este das me indica que ya me transforma el verbo en tercera persona. Ya no necesito el verbo en su forma S. Uh, she doesn't drive. En ese work. caso solamente serían los the auxiliary. Eh, afirmativos. That is correct. Only the affirmative, you include the S to the verb. In the case, in Thank the negative, you. my pleasure. In the case of negative, you need the auxiliary because look at here, observe that in the affirmative, you don't need auxiliary. But in the negative, it's necessary to include the I don't live far from here. She doesn't drive to work. As you have auxiliary, you need the base form of the verb all the time. I don't drive to work. I take the bus. My sister drives to work. This is affirmative. Look. Affirmative case, no auxiliary, but you need to include the S to the verb. She has a new car. Third person form. You need the S form of the verb. No todos los verbos va a llevar solo una S, porque en este caso, ¿recuerdan cuál es el, el, la forma base de has? Ah. Exactly. So, no simplemente va a ser como has, right? Like, has. No va así. Porque es un verbo irregular. Cambian. 
Estos varían. So I have, don't use haves, but have equals in third person to has. He has. My sister has a new job. My father has a good friend. My mother has a new house. So it's third person. You modify the verb. In the other case, you have other affirmative manner. You have in this one, let me put this here. This one. I study English. You have a nice apartment. Joseph and Jenny live near the school. So they ride their bikes to get here. Remember that? So that means, así que, pues, entonces. This is a, a conductor that you have. So they ride their bikes to get there. To get there is para llegar ahí. To get there. We speak Italian. So let's check here or let's observe that the parts that are in yellow, they are putting emphasis in the verb. And what is the form of the verb in these examples? What is the form? Is it with the S form or base form? Base form. It's base form, right? Because you have different subjects. Only depends on the subject. In this case, you don't have third person singular. You don't have he, she, it, no. They are different. I, you, Joseph and Jenny is like they, they again, we. So they use base form of the verb. This is affirmative. In the case of the negative, include also the auxiliary. I do not. This is complete, but it's correct to say contraction. Don't. I don't. So I do not study English or I don't study English. Carla lives far from her work. So she drives to the company. So Carla lives third person because here you have affirmative. Here also you have from her work. Mm -hmm. Sorry. You. Yes. So she drives. This is affirmative too. Now, in these cases, also you have affirmative and the negatives. Questions? Do you have any questions about it? Teacher. Yes, tell me. Okay. <clears throat> Todavía tengo una duda y, y necesito que me ayude. En, entonces, mi consulta es en qué <coughs> tengo duda. El, la es, esa S que vamos a agregar en el verbo solamente va a ser en los casos que sean afirmativos nada más. Only in affirmative and in the third person. Only. When you're referring to one person, but it's third person. Porque en el caso, por ejemplo, de I es singular, pero no está dentro de la tercera persona, es primera. So it's only he, she, it, S form. O persona singular, en tercera. Que... Only these three Solamente cases. En... Exactly. Y singular, third person form. Porque mencionábamos que también tenemos tercera persona, pero plural, que es they. Ellos hey, okay. es tercera persona, pero es plural. Entonces acá va, okay. forma base del verbo. Base form. Teacher, Third person. y el yes, you que it. está aquí, en este cuadrito, you... es de ustedes, no es de tú. It's possible. Remember that in the case of you, it can be two manners. It can be referring to one person or plural. You puede okay. ser utilizado en cualquiera de los dos. Depende de cómo se dé la situación, ¿verdad? Ahí en la conversación. Tú puede ser singular o puede ser ustedes. Or like in Spanish language, vosotros, right? <laughs> but it's plural. <laughs> Puede ser singular para tú o que ustedes. Nosotros, que nosotros, que nosotros sería el... Nosotros, no, de nosotros es we. 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 <coughs> y de ellos okay. es they. You puede ser para tú o para ustedes. Tú conduces un carro o, o ustedes, ajá, correcto, o ustedes ajá. conducen un carro. 
Entonces sí de ser idea, si ustedes conducen un carro es you drive this. Ahí sí no. se le agrega la S. No, porque recordemos no. que drive solo va a ser para una persona pero tercera. Sí, 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 y el y el you es el, persona, va a llevar sí. la misma estructura, tanto para singular o como plural de you. Cambia. La misma, porque es, por regla en el sujeto no me va a cambiar, siempre va a ir en, en forma base. La única manera que va a llevar S va a ser he, she, it o singular. Recordemos que acá esos nada más sustituyen al, al nombre específico, ¿verdad? Pero pues también puede ser el, el nombre en específico de alguien. Por ejemplo, si dice Kevin drives a car. Rebecca does not ride a motorcycle. Ahí no lo lleva. Ajá, does not know because you have auxiliary. Porque es en negativa y en negativa lleva el auxiliar. Doesn't. Ajá, correct. Ahora, como ya llevo un auxiliar, entonces yo no necesito el verbo de nuevo en su forma S. Es así como en pasado. ¿Recuerdan cuál es el auxiliar de pasado? Que es did. En el caso de sí. did, ese es otro auxiliar, pero ese es para pasado. Que es este de acá. Como mi verbo está así. I did not. I did not, for example, write. The report. Yo Mi, un, no leí. una pregunta. Yes. Este, y cuando es negativo siempre va a ir contractado. No necessarily. No necesariamente. Puede ser completa o puede ser contractado. Es como el que les mencionaba. Ya le muestro acá. We have another example. It's like here, do not, but also can be don't. Or okay. like here, I don't drive. Also can be, I do not drive. Do not drive. So puede ser contractado, pero también puede ser de manera completa. Okay. Like here, do not, don't, does not, or doesn't. So they are contractions. You can use. Let me see if I have another one. Dry. No, these ones are affirmative. They are affirmative forms. But here is affirmative. Look, no auxiliary. In the negative, don't. Complete manner, you can also say, do not. I do not live. Do not. Live far from here. Two forms are correct. Ambas son correct. Solo que eh, contracción, recordemos que es más fluido y es más práctico para pronunciarlo. You don't live. You do not live near here. He doesn't work downtown. He does not work downtown. Different possibilities to use them. Any other question, guys? Entonces, cuando estamos en el, el, sim, sim, el simple, simple present, present uh -huh. Uh -huh. entonces usaríamos, vamos a usar el, el do, el does. Depends, because in pues affirmative, ajá, uh -huh, correct, when you have negative and you have questions, ajá, uh -huh. negativo, y uh -huh. en preguntas, ¿qué preguntas? Eh, vamos a verlas mañana. Pero uh -huh. en afirmative, no. Afirmative, you don't use them. Uh -huh. Pero ahí usaríamos el, en el, ¿cómo se dice? En el she. Per person? Ahí sí she la S. The S. Yes. In no affirmative. Ajá. Uh -huh. In affirmative, like, for example, here, he works, she takes, you need this, but because it's affirmative, you don't say, like, he does work, she does take. Ese ya tendría otro contexto como para reafirmar algo. Por ejemplo, si le dicen a usted, pues no te bañas, <clears throat> you don't take a shower, y usted quiere reafirmar, I do take a shower, yo sí me baño. <laughs> 
pero ya es otro contexto, ya para, para defenderme, para reafirmar algo que sí hago. Pero en este caso solo, solo son en rutinas, eh, hábitos, costumbres, algo que siempre hago o que hago con cierta frecuencia. So that's affirmative. Negative, depending on the subject, you have the auxiliary. Don't or do not or you have does not or doesn't. Thank you, Miss. My pleasure. Any other question? Miss, I'm going to be watching. My God. Missy, what happens es que, when the audio? Es que me sacó de la plataforma. Me sacó. There are problems, right? Te, todavía se están experimentando problemas. Ha habido Miss, temporal. Yes, tell me. No me, quedó, no me quedó claro lo del did. Ah, yes, we were talking about did. Did is when you express the simple past. For example, in, in the negative, let's suppose that is um, affirmative form. I wrote the report. I Wait, I'm going to change it. I wrote the report yesterday. This is affirmative case of past. Eso sería pasado, pero en de manera afirmativa. Tell me, what is the subject? ¿Cuál es el sujeto? What's the subject? I. I, correct. What is the verb? Wrote. Wrote. That's good. Wrote es el pasado de write. ¿Recordamos ese verbo? Write. Pero yeah. este verbo, como es irregular, les mencionaba que los irregulares es el transformarlos al pasado me van a cambiar. Algunos que cambian totalmente y otros que permanecen de la misma forma que su forma base. En el caso de write, simple past wrote. The phrases only complement. If you use mm -hmm. the negative manner, then is necessary the auxiliary. Así como en presente simple. En la forma negativa necesito el auxiliar. I did mm -hmm. not. This is negative. Ahora acá, mi auxiliar ya no es do, sino que did, did es el pasado de do. So, now I need the base form of the verb. I, uh, I did not write the report yesterday. Ahora es, yo no escribí el reporte ayer. You have affirmative and negative. Pero, so porque, negative. pero porque cambia de growth a great. Because in affirmative, You don't It's use broken. auxiliary. En afirmativo no necesito auxiliar. Por eso el ah. verbo necesita ir en pasado. Está para... en pasado, correcto. Exacto. Yo Ajá. escribí. Necesito. Ajá. Porque si no, no sabemos en qué tiempo estamos expresándonos. Ahora, en la negativa necesito auxiliar. Tengo el auxiliar. Entonces, no necesito verbo en pasado. Ah, el, I did el, not el, wrote, el... no. Hmm. Eso le sirve como para cambiar el verbo. Uh -huh. El auxiliar me sirve para identificar en qué tiempo ¿En qué me tiempo estoy expresando. Mm -hmm. Ahora, acá mi auxiliar es do or does. Ahora yo sé que hablo en presente. Did, ya sabemos que es pasado. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes, miss. All right. Any other question? Did significa pasado. No, no lo traducimos así, es, ese es tácito, no lo traducimos, es solo para eh, expresar el tiempo. O sea que acá lo traduciríamos como, no escribí el reporte ayer, si vemos acá, no estamos traduciendo el auxiliar, solo está ahí para saber en qué tiempo me expreso. No tiene ningún significado. Solo, solo me ayuda a expresarme en ese tiempo. Okay. Es auxiliar, es un auxiliar. La función de él es saber el tiempo. Lo tomamos como un auxiliar, pero no tiene ningún significado. No, solo es auxiliar para el pasado. Si no, iría nada más como I know right, I know wrote. No. Y para el futuro, en vez de ¿cómo sería? O sea, para el yo futuro, escribiré. Para el futuro pueden existir varias maneras. Uno de ellos puede ser will que es bien común. El will que will. es bien común. ¿eh? Ajá. I will write, escribiré. O I am going to uh, write, voy a escribir. 
Uh -huh. Pero son otros auxiliares, son otras estructuras. Pero las dos, o sea, disculpen la ignorancia. Tell me, no, es que tell me. Sure, ask me... the questions, it's correct. Este, este, yo ahorita lo que le entiendo va, I did not write the report, es pasado, ¿verdad? Ese es pasado. Pero en este que dice, I wrote, ¿cómo se pronuncia? I, I wrote, 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 the wrote. The report yesterday, para mí... Yo entendí que ya se va y es pasado también, ¿verdad? Ajá, solo que esta es afirmativa. Esta oración ah. de acá es afirmativa, en la cual no necesito un auxiliar. Y en la Ajá. negativa sí lo necesito. En la negativa, ah, okay. Necesito, si no diría como I know right, no. Sure. I know wrote is incorrect. Okay. Y en okay. futuro, Miss, ahí sería, I will, si la quiero hacer en futuro eh, negativa, I, I will, will not. Ajá. Y se puede y la... contratar. Contractar. Yes, you can say I want. También la, también dice se puede contractar. Want, it's like this. Eh, supongamos que está eh, completa. I will not write. Lo puedo contractar así. I want. Esta sí va negativa, pero cambia un poquito. No va a ir simplemente como I, I willn't. Hay unos que cambian. I want, want, right. Y el verbo va a ir en forma base, porque yo ya llevo auxiliar acá. ¿Y contractado en did? Didn't. It's like here. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't write. Forma base del verbo porque ya lleva auxiliar. Podemos usar los de las dos formas. Sí, exacto. Son correctas ambos. Solo que es más fluido, ¿verdad? Como les mencionaba. La contracción es más fluido. Ok. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Is Thank that you. clear? Yes. 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 All right, so tomorrow we'll continue with more examples and also with the question forms. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will send you videos. Le voy a enviar también otro video para reforzar. Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Have a beautiful night. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Great night. Thank you so much. Good night. It was mm -hmm. nice Good to night. see you again. Bye. Okay. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. I'll see you tomorrow night. Take care. Thank you. Oh. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good Take night. care. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.